The scene starts with Simba growling to a salamander to prove that he can growl like a normal lion. After he scared the salamander away, Simba is surprised to see the ground shaking. He then looks up, where he sees a horde of goats. This makes him run from the horde with all his power. Then we see Scar letting his brother know of the situation Simba has found himself in. When the brothers arrive at the scene, they see Simba grabbing a tree to save himself from falling into the horde. After the tree Simba was hanging on starts to break, Mufasa runs to help his kid. His strategy consisted of him joining the horde's path and then reversing to reach Simba. However, he is repeatedly hit by the horde. Once Mufasa secures Simba, he gets dragged back by the horde. After seemingly disappearing for a few seconds, Mufasa makes a jump and tries to not fall again. Once Mufasa reaches a safe distance, he is also very close to loosing his grip to the mountain. He calls out his brother Scar to help him, but he does the opposite and lets his hands loose, making him fall off the mountain into the horde. Long live the king. Simba watches and then tries to go down the mountain to check on his father, just to find him dead. After realizing his father's death, Simba calls out for help before laying next to his father's dead body. From the shadows, Scar appears and blames Simba for his father's death. When innocent Simba asks his uncle what he should do, he tells him to run away because he killed his father. What am I gonna do? Run away, Simba. Run. Run away and never return. Once Simba runs away, Scar orders his hyenas to kill Simba, but they are not successful, and Simba lives to tell the tale and one day expose Scar. <laughs>